All right, guys. So the fun with the new hybrid racing master cylinder was short-lived. Um, the clutch pedal assembly actually failed on me. As you can see. This is all one piece. And then to the base plate, there's just two like little tack welds. And uh, right there where it's folded, ripped all the way down, and then the tack weld gave loose. Um, I have seen on the forums, I guess this is somewhat common. I had never heard of it before. And uh, my clutch always made a little bit of noise, or my clutch pedal, but I think it was just like the springs and stuff. But the other day it was, it started feeling a little mushy. Uh, I was just driving regular, it was feeling a little funky. So I thought maybe this had come unadjusted, so the pedal adjustment was out. And then I went to push in the clutch at a stoplight, and I heard a little click. Luckily I was in gear, so I just pulled over into a parking lot. And uh, then once I pulled over and pulled it out of gear into neutral, I couldn't get it back into gear at all. And then once I crawled down there, I realized this had actually broke. So, um, I think I'm going to order another one and then uh, reinforce it before I put it back in. But I'm also going to fix this one and show you guys for anybody who um, doesn't have the extra money or whatever to buy a new one. I mean, you can buy a used one for like 40, 50 bucks off eBay, maybe even cheaper if you can find it at like a uh, junkyard or something. But I'm going to get a new one and then reinforce the whole thing. I'll, I'll do a video on that also. But I'm also going to fix this one because I think I can definitely fix it. Um, I'm going to clamp it up and re weld it. And I'll show you guys how I do that. So, all right. So, this is what it looks like after I attempted to <clears throat> weld everything back up. It looks pretty good. Um, it's a little rough right here because I brought it, everything back together, clamped it up how it was when it was before it ripped. But as I, I started here and I did a little tack, tack, and then beaded right here, and this got hot, kind of expanded. So I ended up with a little bit of a gap right there. But I pulled everything back together the best I could and then just kind of weaved this back together. So. There's a little spot right here that I didn't do. But at this point, I mean, if this doesn't hold, that wouldn't make any difference. I didn't want to heat it up anymore because this little plastic, uh, little retainer thing for the spring, even though I pulled it back and off, it still got hot. The spring got hot and the heat went up and melted that a little bit. So probably have to do something about that. But it'll be all right for now, I think. That's it though, it's fixed. I think it'll be all right. It's basically in the same exact spot as um, it was before. So, I'll let you guys know if that worked, but if you have access to a welder, this will definitely save you money. This assembly is like 300 bucks from Honda. I'll probably buy another used one just to have it on hand, just in case this does fail, but this is probably actually a lot stronger than it was stock. So, Pretty good. We'll find out.